Well, good day, Gothamites. Uh, today is Tuesday. Just want to do a little mini vlog and see how things were going. Tell everyone what's going on. We've been so busy with post Christmas activities. Um, had a birthday party, Blackhawks party to go to. Blackhawks are playing tonight. Um, me head over to the mother's house to watch a little bit of that game. But yesterday was Monday and it was the first day back at school. And Luke failed to finish a book reading project for school. So naturally on Monday, um, he didn't actually he found out on Monday when he went back to school. So it was due on Tuesday this morning. So rushed home from work and had to wake up everyone, got Logan ready, breakfast, lunches, dressed out the door. And then I had to wake up Luke and he only wanted mom's help. So I had to wake up the wife and tell her to help out. But apparently he got that work done. And uh, so that's where we're at today. I'm going to finish f cleaning up some of our garland, some ornaments and things that we have left over. We don't have too many leftover ornaments and, and Christmas decorations left over. But uh, just a few things. Going to work on that. And uh, we'll see where the evening heads. So just want to say someone asked me the other day via Twitter how the wife was doing. She had a surgery back, I want to say, December 19th. A lot of her internal organs were falling down, were misplaced. Um, it was a serious issue causing a lot of pain. She had surgery. She's doing better, but she has to be cleared by the doctor. And today she had a doctor's appointment around 1 o'clock and she got sort of cleared. So she can go back to work on next Monday, or shall I say this upcoming Monday. So about five days from now. and um, But she's got to go to physical therapy. So... She's sort of cleared, but not completely cleared. She has a little bit of pain, discomfort, but she's doing okay. Thank you for asking. And uh, we'll see how the day, see where the day leads us to. Oh, what I forgot to mention is um, while I'm putting Christmas presents or sorry Christmas decorations away, we only have a few things left. Some garland, um, this tree. This is the last time you'll see this tree lighted for the year um, until next Christmas. This coming Christmas is for a Christmas present my sister got me, and I forgot to share with everyone. I got this really cool hockey puck. It's uh, Go Blackhawks, Chicago Blackhawks hockey puck. You can hold it either way, and it holds your cell phone. And it's pretty cool because I leave my cell phone all over the place. But it's got the weight. It's a real hockey puck. It feels like the heavy rubber. Very hefty. And uh, you put your cell phone in there. Android, if your tablet would even hold it. Quite possibly. But I'm sure you can get it in any sports team that you know is around. I bet you can order it in any sports team. It's made by the Puck Ups company. You could possibly see it right there. It says Puck Ups. And uh, I'll show you this here. This is the package it comes in. So you can see it says Puck Ups. So go ahead and get yourself one. It's really cool. I appreciate the extra gift for Christmas. And thanks, sis. So my wife had a calendar with some interesting factoids, and she ripped off a couple of dates. I thought they were interesting, and I'm going to share them with you. So take a look at these. Okay, fact for January 6th that we missed. In the late 19th century, Bayer marketed heroin as a cough medicine. It didn't work, but nobody cared. That's interesting. Next one for January 7th. Fact, known as the boogeyman, 
Serial killer Albert Fish, never heard of him, stalked the East Coast in the early 20th century, abducting and killing young children and even cannibalizing some of his victims. While he claimed to have killed more than 100 children, he was convicted and put to death solely for the death of 10-year-old Grace Budd. If he killed all 100 at once, it could have been self-defense. What? If he killed all 100 at once, it could have been self-defense. Eight-year-olds are dangerous in mass. That's true. Here's uh, January 8th. Fact. Of more than 80,000 chemicals used in the U.S., only about 300 have ever undergone health and safety testing. Well, most of us are still alive. That's got to count for something. Wow. Last fact. Well, we'll do two more. Gallstones extracted from animals were commonly used to treat wounds in the 19th century America. I would say in early 19th century America. Doctors believed chemicals in the stones prevented infection. Actually, I'm pretty sure they caused them. Probably. And here's today's, Tuesday, January 10th. I haven't read this one yet. In fact, early European colonists in present-day Virginia were forced to resort to cannibalism during an especially rough winter of 1609, which is why you should never, which is why you should never be the fattest friend. Very good. <laughs>